there, Chiggity. Welcome to Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we are so glad that you are here with us today. Yes. We are going to do a hair tutorial for you today. Doesn't she look gorgeous? These are easy beach waves. And we are going to show you today how you can get that easy breezy summer beach look. And this is a great, fun, easy to do hairstyle that you can do pretty quickly and be out the door and just look fabulous, but have that I'm sassy kind of look going sassy, for you. sexy look. One of the things that I like about this is that it is a younger hairstyle. You see the girls doing the beach waves, but it is age appropriate for those of us who are over 40 or if we're going to be honest, 50 and 60s. I like it that it's versatile. It gives us a youthful look, but it doesn't give us that look that we're trying to be 17, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's very age appropriate, but it has a youthful feel to it. So we're gonna show you how to do beach waves right now. What are we going to do? All right, well, first let's start by addressing the elephant in the room, and that is that I got about 10 inches cut off of my hair. This is what they call a gypsy cut because it's extremely layered all the way around. And because I have such fine, thin hair, it's working great so far because the layers are really, really helping. And this type of layered cut is also really great for beach waves because you have a nice layer in there to give you a nice bounce. The great thing about this type of style is that it will work on almost any length hair, medium length, a short bob, longer length, as long as you've got some, uh, some layers, it should work on pretty much any length hair. So I am using actually a smaller barrel than I prefer today, but I'm using it to kind of show you that you can work with what you have. This is about a one and a quarter inch barrel. The ideal width for me is a one and a half inch barrel. You can also try a one and three quarter inch barrel. The looser you want your wave, uh, the larger size of the barrel you want to use. The same premise goes for the amount of hair that you put in. So I'm going to take it from underneath not from above, but from underneath. Start at the root, pull it down immediately, and start to roll it in a spiral direction. And can you see that I have left a tail here? A Little bit of a tail sticking out. You don't want the end perfectly wrapped around the barrel because that's gonna give you a smooth edge. What you want is a loose tail at the end that kind of just gives you that tumble tousled look. So after you have wrapped your hair around, once you're taking it out of the barrel, loosen the clip and pull it down. So now you have a wave. This actually works better if your hair hasn't been freshly washed, if it's been about a day or two in between washings. I just washed mine this morning, so I'm going to put some product in there to hold that curl in because I want to keep it in place until I'm ready to mess it up. So you can actually take clips and section your hair off if you want to, but I just kind of section as I go along. So I'm starting at the root, pulling down, leaving about a half an inch of a tail, wrapping it around. What we want is a little bit of that tail sticking out and in a corkscrew motion, hold it and the amount of time that you hold it is determined by the size of your barrel the heat of your curling iron and how much wave you want again when you release it pull it down and what i'm doing with each section is coming up from the bottom and turning it away from my face now you can actually go in opposite directions. Mm -hmm. You can do one away from your face, one towards your face, one away, one toward. It just depends on what works best for your hair and what look you're trying to achieve. The nice thing about this is we're not going for perfection. This is actually deliberately supposed to look messy. This is a very easy style to knock out pretty fast. Now this one I'm using a smaller section just because I actually want to kind of vary my sections, vary my waves. I like a little bit more around my face. And then as I go back, I do them in bigger sections to make them a little looser. 
This curling iron also has adjustable heat. The ideal setting is a medium to medium high heat. Any lower, it's not going to give you much unless you just want a real very little loose. bit. Very, very loose. And any higher, you risk scorching your hair. Now before I started this, I put a little bit of inexpensive mousse in. And the hairspray that I'm using, big sexy hair. Can't go wrong with that. Big sexy hair. If you need a little bit more texture, you can actually spray the piece before you use the curling iron. So as you can see, got the tail sticking out, winding it around. You do the same technique all the way around, whether it's shorter pieces, longer pieces. We're going to do this all the way around, even on the top. Okay, so I've got this side pretty much done. As you can see, it goes pretty quickly, actually. So now I'm going to start on the back. Again, the nice thing about this is there is no perfect way to do it because we're not going for perfection. So I'm going to take a piece in the back, pull it up, leave that tail sticking out, and do the same thing in the back, wind it around. You're going for curly cues for right now, but not too tight and not too stiff. Big Daddy loves my hair long no matter how stringy and nasty it gets. He just thinks long hair is the bomb. Well, as you have seen in our last couple of videos, my hair was not looking the bomb. Okay? It was a hot, straight, stringy mess. So that's why I got it cut. And that's specifically why I, why I got layers put in. Well, well, we went to the beach house right after I got it cut. And we never talked about the cut. Now, you know, even a man is going to notice 10 inches missing. No man wants 10 inches cut off from anywhere. Know what I mean? Just saying. Just saying. I did my hair this way, and he actually looked at it and said, Your hair looks nice. It's shorter, but it looks nice. He liked it mm -hmm. in this particular style. And I mentioned we were at the beach house. I say that because he said, It looks very beachy. And I said, well, ironically enough, it's called a beach wave, so mission accomplished. She's right. Big Daddy, do not like short hair. He just is one of those old-fashioned guys. Most men I've ever known are into the long hair, and they don't care how complicated it is for us. They like their long hair. And as I've gotten larger and gained more weight, I've liked longer hair on me because I feel like it kind of counterbalances my round face. Mm -hmm. I compromised with this, and I consider this a medium length. It borders on, on short, but it's not a bob. It's called a gypsy cut with lots of nice long layers. Going back, I'm taking a piece in the back, pulling it out, leaving the tail, curly cueing it in. The technique is exactly the same all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around my head because we are using the same technique all the way around and don't want to bore you with just curl after curl after curl after curl. I'm using the same technique in the back as I'm using on the side. Just make your sections however large you want to depending on the size and bounce of the wave that you want. So just work your way all the way around and in just a second we will see you with waves all the way around. So magically, here we are down to the very last curl. This is at the top of my head. I've gone all the way around in the same direction. See how these little tails kind of stick out? Mm -hmm. I like that. That's what gives you that beach wave loose effect. If you feel that your curls are too tight after you let go of them with the curling iron, while it's warm, you can actually pull it, and that will loosen it up just a little bit. Hit that with a little bit of spray. So now what I'm going to do is mess it up. I'm going to take my fingers and work all the way around with my fingers. And because I did put hairspray in there, they need to be loosened up a little bit. See how it's just kind of coming out? You can also use a hair pick that works really well with this 
and I may take the brush to it a little bit just to smooth it just a little bit. So as you're putting your fingers through it, you kind of want to lift it and twirl it as you're going around. And then you can touch up any spots you want to touch up. Yeah, I might touch this spot right here just to see what happens. Looking good, girl. Looking good. Is it looking beachy? Very beachy. Let's As opposed to, beach. to bitchy. Let's go to the beach. Yeah, that's better. And then what I like to do is spray a little bit and squish. Spray, squish. Spray and squish. Now, I want you to see the sides. I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray underneath and just squish it and scrunch it. And I have stick straight hair. If I can get a scrunch, you can get a scrunch. Don't y'all think it looks good? Tell her how good it looks down there in the comments. Now I'm not going to call this the perfect beach wave because there is no such thing as a perfect beach wave. You're not going for perfection. You're going for that nice boho, easy breezy summer style with some bounce and a little bit of sass in there. I like it. I think it looks great on you. Thank you. I really do like the way this turns out. It's very easy to do. And it's actually kind of fun to do because it's kind of fun to do the curly cues and then you just scrunch away. Scrunch and bounce and you are good to go. So this is my version of a beach wave. Tell us if you like it in the comment section below and how you get the perfect beach wave. If you got any tips and tricks, we'd love to hear yes, them. Yes. While you're down there making those comments, if you would please click the little red button right over there, the subscribe button, if you aren't already subscribed, and then you'll see a little bell pop up. And if you'll ding that bell, it will let you know exactly when we upload a new video. And we would love to have you in the Chickadee family because we have an awful lot of fun. We upload videos at least once a week, usually twice, and we'd love to have you join us every time because it always makes our day that much more special when you keep us company. Beach waves and all, let's head to the beach, shall we? Can we? I say, away. let's pack up and let's go. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like to be at the beach right now too. And if you'd like to see more hair tutorials, let us know. Until next time, I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we are Two Real Chicks. Bye. Bye. Mwah.